What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I look a little different. Check out my last video. But today, we're gonna talk about friendship. Now, recently, I've been thinking about my place in the fandom and who I interact with the most and what I see other people do as well. I even saw a video from Finn the Panther about mini fandoms, and that really made me think about how the fandom is so large, we now have sub-communities of furries. When it's not enough to just be furries together, what ways do we form these connections? And in my experience, there are three main ways furries will meet each other. Creators, species, and consumers. The most widely known category in the fandom are those who create things. Some people call them popufers because they generate the most visibility within the fandom and outside of it between fursuit makers and those who perform in them, to the fandom artists and musicians, to even those who aren't inherently furry, like grease monkeys and computer nerds, these creative furries are those who share who they are online by talking about and showing off the things they make and the things they love making. And I have found, as a creator myself, this is where a majority of my friendships have been formed. Because when me and another furry love to create similar things, we get to talk about our creative processes, our struggles, our achievements, and everything in between. The next common category is based on your species. Now, this can be pretty broad groups or pretty niche, depending on your species and how deep your connection with them goes. For almost any given animal, there's a group on Telegram or Discord for those who share that species to hang out. Those are still often massive groups, but your species was not an accident. These, the people that you meet who share your fursona will often have more in common with your personality and lifestyle choices than just anyone in the fandom. Things in our human world like race and gender aren't chosen, but your fursona is. You'll spend real time making a decision on what animal you wanna be, or that animal will already be such a part of you that it's almost obvious that it would be your species. And now this can be broken down even further by including Therians too. As I've said many times before, I'm a Therian. And as a quick recap, it's a hugely personal experience that is based around you being an animal in some way that goes deeper than the surface of your skin. Being around furries with these deeper connections to animals can show you a lot about yourself that you may have never known or understood. The last group are those who are most invisible and seem to be the ones who struggle the most to find friends. These I will call the consumers. Furries who don't generally create things for the fandom, but instead love to watch what the fandom creates. These furries include just passive viewers of art and media, like watching furry TikToks or browsing furry Twitter, but also those who buy and collect furry merch, pre-made fursuits, and even custom art commissions. Now, I have met quite a few of these furries, because despite being the most invisible, they're also the most common type of furry within the fandom. This can make it really difficult for them to connect with other furries, however, but that's why a lot of creators also create a space for their fans to hang out, such as my own Discord server. Allowing us to carve out a niche for our fans of what we make and the personalities we portray. Now, this list isn't comprehensive or exclusive. You can be more than one thing, and there's even a whole after dark category that I didn't even mention. But I hope that what I've gone over can help you find furries to connect with in a meaningful way with a fandom that has grown so large and diverse. Leave a comment with what ways you have met friends in the fandom, or if you're looking for friends yourself, what are you looking for in a furry friendship? I hope you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks so much for watching! Bye bye! <sighs> Alright, this is the end of the video. Um, I tried using a script, and I hope it sounds okay, because this has been a different experience for sure. But hopefully everything goes well. Hope you like my cute fursuit. And okay, that's it. Bye-bye.